So, so Windows 10's broken. Um, been having a lot of trouble recently with uh, obviously Windows 10 being the uh, being the boy that it is. So when we go down here to use the start menu, click that, and we get this lovely error every time. And obviously when you click that, it signs you back out and you've got to sign back in again. Alright, so what we're going to do is, in order to fix this problem, we are going to right click on the start menu, which will give us something we can use. And then in here, that's not what I'm wanting. Search is what I asked for. Oh, okay. Look for updates. Update history is what you're wanting. Once you load that up, go up to uninstall updates. And this will solve the problem with it crashing as well. It's these updates here. You'll know which ones it is because when you click on it, it'll give you uninstall at the top here. Um, the one that's creating the uh, message, the error message on the start menu is actually this one here. This one here is the one that causes the crashes. So there's two, so there's them two there we've got to remove. Um, until they fix these, there's no point having them on because it's just going to give you trouble like I've been having. So just click on the first one, just uninstall that. And this hopefully will give us the use of our, our PC back. But uh, I've had crashes constantly since they've done the last update. For the last two months I've seen nothing but blue screen and I've never had a problem since. Um, this is the only way I can find really that you can actually uh, gain some of your your usage back. Uh, this does take a while to uninstall. It's probably all the things you've got in there trying to mess up your computer because uh, it don't doesn't actually add any changes. I don't know actually what they've done apart from mess up my computer and lots and lots of others. There's, there's some way they tell you to restart the PC three times and then go into boot mode and all this and the other. The only way to stop the errors that you get in the blue screen and all the rest of it is literally to uninstall them to poorly made updates. So we'll just wait for this one to do. Then wait for this one to disappear. And then we'll have to uninstall the other one. It might prompt for us to do a restart, but hopefully we can uninstall them both. Because what will happen is, as soon as you uninstall these and it shuts down and restarts, Windows, lovely, lovely Windows, will uh, re-back download it and reinstall the bastard. So, uh, just wait for this thing to finish. It's not what you want first thing in the morning. But it can buy you some time this because you can actually once you've got rid of these updates you can actually pause when the updates start again and I think it goes up to about 30 days I think um, that will buy you 30 days of bliss but then obviously uh, when uh, Windows gets to those 30 days it's gonna start installing things and doing what it does best. See, I used to be on Windows 7, you see, and I've never had any problems on Windows 7, ever. Never had a blue screen in the whole 18 years I've used it. <coughs> but yeah, I avoided Windows 10, and this is one of the reasons. I've got things on my setup I've got now, the processor and that require that I have Windows 10, so... There's probably ways around it, but it's really annoying. It's probably why they rolled it out being free. <laughs> oh dear, what a mess. Dee, 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 dee. 
I'm not going to edit this act. I'm going to leave it as it is, just so you've got an idea of roughly how long it does. It does take a while sometimes, especially this first one, this new one that they've made. That's the one that messes up this bar down here. That's supposed to be the fix for this one here, the one underneath. So this one here is supposed to be like a thick fix for that one. At least that's that's my uh, that's my take on it. Um, not that it does. It makes it worse. It stops the blue screens. However, obviously you've no longer got a start menu. So uh, we'll click restart later on that one, and then we'll remove the next one, which is that one. And it will only be your last two. You might have a great list um, of updates going all the way down here, and you can probably uninstall most of them. It should be the last, the last two. Um, failing that, you've got the numbers there. So it's the KB four five one five eight seven one. Now these ones here, you can't remove these ones anyways. But these there aren't the ones causing the issue. It's mainly this one. This is the one that causes the uh, causes the PC to blue screen every two seconds and give you a totally random error message every time so I'll restart that now we've already installed them too <clears throat> I've not seen anyone do a show this way I mean I've looked through countless videos on how to stop it from blue screen and get you some menu back in this and it all requires you mess around for hours and hours and hours this is the most simplest easiest way of doing it just take that crap off until at least they fix it hopefully at some point they will fix it but uh, they're not really rushing about it I would have done it using the, obviously the screen capture software, but when we restart the machine and that, you aren't going to get the information. So I just thought I'd just do it straight on my phone. Which is the reason you're going to like this. Hello. Today, we just want to restart now. Once it's running properly, this and that they're in uninstalled, it boots up within seconds. This is just, I don't know, it's probably trying to install another update, but looks of it. Hopefully, not because it will come in straight back out if it does. But hopefully when it comes on now, the start menu should work again. Them start menu fixes, I've downloaded, I've tried everything. Everything I've seen on YouTube, I've tried, and none of it has worked. This is the only way I've found, personally, where it's worked. The thing is, if you get a problem, and it's because of an update, the best thing to do is remove that update. It's the most simplest, and it's the most straightforward. Sometimes, obviously, when you come to remove them updates, they might have made some big changes that don't revert back when you uninstall. So you're going to have to be careful of that. But with them two updates I've just shown you, you, you can remove them <clears throat> and we can, uh, we'll turn it off, we'll turn updates off for uh, 30 days if I can remember how to do it. If not, we'll just do 7 days, but uh, you've got to remember after them 7 days it will download them updates again, install them and then your computer's going to be a sack of, once again... So we'll log back in again. <sighs> Alright, so we'll try the start menu and we're back. We've now got a start menu back. For those who get the crashes as well, 
uh, they should stop. You might get the odd one when you first boot, but uh, overall they should stop. You'll get the one and it'll run no bother for a while. Um, right, so I want to go back to updates. Update history. Just check, make sure it hasn't brought down any other ones whilst we did what we did. Right, so they've been uninstalled, which is good. It's, they're still going to be on this list, but they're not actually active. That's why you can't uninstall them. It's just that it, it's a history, isn't it? So, Right, so now we've got that, which is good. We can go back onto the start menu and we'll go update again. So for this time, I want to go to update settings. Once we're on to update settings, if you see here, it says you can pause the updates for seven days. And it's obviously still wanting to download these. Um, so what you can do, I'm pretty sure somewhere on here, the advanced options, and I'm pretty sure that allows you then to change advanced options to 35 days. So you can select, I think, and how long they paused for. So we can pause this right to the 19th of, to our 29th, sorry, of uh, November. And let's drop back. And I think they're paused now. Yeah, so you got the pause symbol on here. So they are paused, so they should be able to, to reinstall themselves. And obviously now you've got your menu back, you can use all that. But you have to right click that. Remember, if, if you get that blue thing come up every time, it's just going to take your right, it's going to log you out every single time. It's not going to let you do anything. So make sure you right click. If you right click on there, you'll get similar options. Just go search. Just type update and then space and then H. That should bring up the update history. Um, just go on there, remove the updates, and then you get your computer back. So I hope that helps anyone that's been frustrated with these updates. Um, I know it's done my nothing. I've not been able to do anything. I've not been able to edit videos or anything. So that's why I'm, another reason I'm doing this on the phone. Um, but obviously once you've uninstalled them and then you've changed the dates back, you shouldn't have any issues right up until either the release an actual fix that fixes it for all machines and not just the odd few or until at least your time's up and then it'll reinstall the old updates but hopefully by then there should be new updates so i hope that helps anybody get the computer back within uh, it took us 12 minutes so uh, 12 minutes rather than messing around having to restart your pc which ain't good for it if you keep switching your pc off hard resetting it you're dropping things out of your memory and all sorts it's not good um, so just uninstall the crap, pause it, and then uh, you, you're pretty much good to go. So uh, thanks for watching, and I hope that helps uh, a lot of frustrated people with Windows. Thank you for watching. Cheers.